So would you say you're more optimistic about China compared to some of the other markets you're covering? Well, from a valuation and a bottom-up risk-reward perspective, yes, there are opportunities. Uh, you know, China is a two-track market. Uh, you've got the large-cap state-owned enterprises, which some of them are structurally challenged, but there are winners there. Um, and then you've got the high-growth sort of areas, uh, technology, the private sector, consumer, where valuations have been very expensive. But we've now seen, um, you know, quality names being available at attractive prices. Prices, and that's what's giving us that bottom-up sort of conviction when it comes to Chinese companies. <clears throat> Meta, you've also said that additional fiscal stimulus would be crucial coming out of China. And our previous guest from Barclays was saying that she's mm -hmm. holding out for a big stimulus announcement, perhaps at the next NPC towards the end of the month. What are you looking out for here? I think, uh, you know, we tend to agree. Uh, uh, when we look at China, definitely we've not seen that sort of big bang bazooka. But, uh, um, and, and, but at the same time, when you look at uh, what's been done by policymakers in the past, they do have the ability to provide uh, support. They have the tools at their disposable, disposal. Um, so I wouldn't be as uh, negative, but I would be watching out for uh, developments and when you look at what happens over the weekend in terms of the RRR cuts, these are just you know one of many measures that the Chinese will resort to. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.